So you want to know where to find black marble in Valheim's Mistlands. So in this guide, we're going to show you how to get marble and where to farm it from. Let's get into it, shall we? The first thing you're going to need is a black metal pickaxe, guys. And the reason why that is is because it is the only tier that will be able to farm the petrified bone. So to craft the black metal pickaxe, you're going to need three Yggdrasil wood and 25 black metal. This will give you the ability to farm black marble. So you say that's hot and dandy, but whenever I go to the Mistlands, this is all I see. Well, that's because you need also a wisp. So to get you one of these little wispy bad boys, you're going to have to make you a wisp fountain. And the way you do that is you will need a torn spirit. The placeholder for Yaglith is now called the torn spirit, and that is used to craft a wisp fountain. The wisp fountain does cost 10 stone, one torn spirit, and requires a stone cutter to craft. So once you craft a wisp fountain, it'll either say the wisp demand darkness in the daytime, and as you can see at night, it says the wisps are coming. Shortly after, you'll be able to see a wisp flying around. All you have to do is collect that wisp like you do any other resource, and come over to your workbench, and you can notice you can craft a wisp light. It requires one silver and one wisp to craft. What the wisp light does is actually give you quite a decent amount of light as well as push back the mists in the mistlands and you get into certain areas in the mistlands where there's really really thick mists like so here and you could just push back the the mist with the new wisp you have. So once you're in the mistlands you can go and look for the new tree and it's called the Yggdrasil shoots and trees around and all you have to do is take your black metal hatchet and chop these bad boys down and when you chop these down it'll give you Yggdrasil wood also when you're running around you'll see little tiny sprouts like this right here or shoots this also gives you Yggdrasil wood so after you have your black metal pickaxe crafted and you have your handy dandy navy you're ready to farm black marble so one of the first places you'll probably come across in the Mistlands is one of these structures or a building similar to this. There's different variations out there in the world, but these are actually made of marble. So if you were to actually go and attack this structure and damage this wall to the point of it breaking, you should get some black marble. It does take a very long time to destroy black marble. But you can also drag creatures and stuff over to the structures and have them do the work for you. This is one way to get black marble. Wouldn't highly suggest it, but there is a more efficient way. So one of the best ways to get marble in the game, it seems like at the moment, is to farm skeletons. And yes, these are the skeletons you'll see around in the mistlands. And they're usually only in the misty parts that I've noticed so far. We have a bunch of wisp torches out so you can see it, but normally it's not this visible. Once you come across this, you'll notice that you hover over it and you'll see petrified bone. And petrified bone can be harvested with the black metal pickaxe. Once you take a chunk of them off, you'll notice that we're getting black marble and a decent amount of it too. The whole entire bones can be dropped if nothing is holding it up. But as you can see with this one, we've completely dug this one out. And unfortunately, it was hanging on to a root. So the root was actually supporting it and it wouldn't drop. But you can dig it out like you do other ores and let them drop and they will drop in sections. And guys, this is one of the best ways to get marble in the game that I've currently found so far. So something else we're going to notice on the skeleton guys is that you're going to notice in the skull cavity that you can see something called soft tissue and soft tissue is something that you can farm with pickaxe. And as you can see, the soft tissue will drop down on the ground or into your inventory. Soft tissue is a valuable resource as it is required to run the ITER refinery. The last way I'm going to mention to get marble is actually killing diverger mages and diverger rogues. Once they're dead, you notice that they drop black marble. It may not be a lot of black marble, but it is a little bit. So you can also get black marble from the mobs that are in the diverger structures like this one. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you know any way to farm black marble efficiently, put them in the comments down below. Let other people know as well. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you next time.
face. 